Hey guys, this is Dave, and it's, uh, you know, we're heading into the weekend, and I usually like to put up a, um, a video post uh, to YouTube and to my blog at davekemick.com slash blog. And so this week, I wasn't really sure uh, what I was going to talk about, but I figured I wrote a post on Thursday about Buzzword, and I hadn't talked about Buzzword in a video yet, and I've talked about some other web applications, uh, stuff like Pixlr, and um, what else was there, Dropbox, and 280 slides, so I figured Buzzword is like my favorite web application, so I might as well talk about it. So this is Buzzword, and what it is is it's a an Adobe word processor that's completely done in Flash, and uh, pretty much it does exactly what you would expect it to do as a word processor. Um, it lets you create and share and edit Word documents. So right here, this is the starting screen for Buzzword after you log in, and what you get here is a view of some of your um, documents, so I'll scroll in so you can see a little bit better. Um, it, they're broken down into when you were, they were last viewed or edited, so uh, these are the ones I viewed today and it goes all the way back to May, some of these ones that I haven't really messed around with in a little bit. And of course you can click on any one of these to open it up and start working on them. And for each one, if uh, you need to change some stuff about them, you get this little box whenever you hover over them. And if you hit the down arrow, you can open them, you can share them to other people, you can make a copy rename, show info, delete, blah blah blah. Uh, so that's basically how you interact with the documents. Um, up here they give you the option to create a new one and uh, this just takes you back to your other adobe.com files. Um, you can e even do stuff like list these differently so if you wanted to change the way they're shown I can list them alphabetically so they're listed by letter as you can see now. Uh, list by author, I'm the only author so that's not really that handy to me right now when viewed, that's what it was at before, when changed, and so on, you get the idea, but let's go ahead and open up a document. So this is Buzzword, and um, as you can see, this is uh, a, actually a document that I keep some of my blog post ideas in, um, and some video ideas, so whenever I think of something to maybe write a blog about or do a video about, this is where I put it, and I just do a normal checklist and then when there's something that I write about and I finish it up I go ahead and put a check into it. So um, this is uh, my favorite part about Buzzword is that the interface isn't ugly it's a really pretty interface and I know that's a weird thing to say about an application but I guess that's just how I think as a bit of a geek that I am. So here uh, up here you get your standard font toolbar you can do stuff like change the font type, the size of the text, the editing of the text, you can make text bold or italic and so on, text color. And the cool thing about this, is, and it kind of reminds me of Microsoft Word in a way, is they have this sort of ribbon-esque interface where you only get what you need at the time. So if you're making font changes, all you get is the font toolbar. You don't have to worry about all the other options. If you want to make changes to the paragraph, click the paragraph toolbar and that slides out for you and then you can do stuff like align text and change spacing or put in an indent. They also have a toolbar for lists, so like I mentioned, I have a checkbox list down here. So you can insert one of those, a numbered list if you want one, bolded list, blah blah blah. Um, insert an image. But the cool thing about this, and obviously I'm not going to go through all of these in painstaking detail because it's pretty straightforward, is it's just a really slick interface that gets out of your way when you don't need it. Um, like I mentioned, that's what Microsoft was going for in Word 2007, and they did a good job, I think, but um, Buzzword is even better because it's so much more streamlined. Uh, there's even less that they show you, and sometimes less is more when you just need to, you know, write something real quick. You don't have to go into a whole bunch of detail. Um, that's one of the places where Buzzword really excels. And um, another cool feature is that they actually allow you to insert tables, uh, which is pretty handy in a web application. So as you can see right down here, I've already put one in here. And you can change the uh, size of the table. You can insert some text. And uh, add rows if you want. Just by clicking these little arrows. Or add columns, of course. And like I said, the nicest thing about this is that the interface is just so cool looking. And it's the animations are really seamless and everything just sort of works. It almost reminds me of a, an Apple product um, to use the old cliche that it just works but just the way that it's presented in such a clean package it works really well. Um, obviously the last one down here just so I can show you is the comment uh, toolbar and this is another one of my favorite features about Buzzword. Um, 
the comment system is pretty cool looking. Like everything else, it has a really nice uh, layer of polish on it. Um, and so any line that you want to add a comment to, you can do that really easily. They have these little um, boxes right here. You can see it just looks like a little text bubble. And as you hover your cursor over that, you get the option to add a comment. So let's see what this is, netbooks. Um, so I can put in a comment here, write a post about netbooks. And you can probably tell another cool feature is that they actually do have spell checking. Um, a lot of the techie words uh, are picked up as being misspelled. Um, so I can go down here and uh, as you can see this netbook is underlined in red so I can click the down arrow. And what it'll do is if this is close to something that it knows about, a word that it knows about, it'll give me a suggestion. But it, it'll also maintain a dictionary for you. Um, so if you have a word that is commonly misspelled, like your last name, for example, you can add it to the dictionary that Buzzword keeps, and then it'll remember that that's a word that you're going to use, and it's an acceptable word. So if I wanted to add netbook, um, I could say netbook is okay always, and then it would get rid of the red underline, and we'd be good to go. So the next thing I wanted to talk about is the, the sharing. And this is a cool thing. Down here you'll see, I'll scroll in, sorry about that, that um, it shows whoever's editing it. Obviously it's me right now. Um, if there was someone else that I had shared this to, I would be able to see that they're working on it if they were at the time. But I can also share this just by hitting the share button and come up here. And so just by putting in email addresses right here, I could uh, share it to whoever and I can assign a role to the people I share it to. So if I want to make them a co-author, someone who just reviews it, or just a normal read permission, I can do that. You can also share it to a wider audience, and this is actually what I wrote my post about earlier, earlier in the week. Um, what Buzzword has done is they, or Adobe I should say, they've made so Buzzword um, documents are embeddable, so you can put them right into a page and people can look at them and interact with them without even having a Buzzword account, which is really handy. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how that works real quick. So this is my blog. If you've never been here, it's davekemick.com slash blog. You should check it out sometime, maybe leave a comment. But um, <clears throat> here's the post that I wrote. And as you can see right here embedded in the post is a word doc or a buzzword document. Uh, so I can come in here and scroll through. I can make changes. And it even recognizes that I'm the one who made this document, even though this is embedded into a page. So if I wanted to come in here and say this is a change, I can do that you know, make some text bold or uh, italic, whatever I want to do, I'm going to get rid of that because it's on my blog right now live, so I don't want to save it. And of course, if I did want to save it, I just come down here, click the save button, uh, and it would save it to uh, my buzzword. Um, you can also change the size. So if I wanted to get a little bit better look at things, I could shrink this down a bit. It shows you how many words are written, and uh, so I have 400 words in this document shows you the number of flag words, so things like misspellings, it'll catch for you. And of course I can share it from here too. So that's a pretty cool feature that they've added, and I think they're going to pick up a lot of um, new fans because of that. And overall I just have to say that I like um, Buzzword because it's such a clean interface compared to Google Documents, which I don't, I don't really have a beef with Google Documents, but sometimes it's just nice to get away from the standard black text on white background and so on and it's just a fresh take on the uh, old standby of a word processor so it's interesting you should check it out it's completely free as always with my posts um, at buzzword.com and you just have to sign up and then you'll be good to go or you can always check out my blog at davekemick.com slash blog and take a look at the interface for yourself uh, in my latest blog post so uh, that's pretty much it for this week it's a little more low-key um, but I wanted to make sure that I got this video out because I've been showing so much love to other web applications that I thought it's time to give Buzzword some love as well. And I've talked about it so many times that I figured I should get it out of the way as soon as possible. So thanks for watching. As always, uh, leave a comment um, either here at, at my blog. I love reading them. And I do my best to get back to each and every one of you guys. So thank you very much. We'll see you next week.